Williams. Melissa Souza is 29 years old. She's a mother of two who was last seen putting them on a school bus yesterday morning. And despite an overnight search that is still going on right now, police have not located her. The search began at Souza's home on Gold Street in Waterville, one she shares with her boyfriend and two daughters. He's been arrested on charges not directly related to this case. Police also spent part of a day today at a home on Taylor Road in Winslow. New Center Maine's Shannon Moss has been at both locations today. She's now outside of Sousa's home in Waterville with more on what police and the missing woman's friend are saying about her disappearance. Shannon. Amanda and Pat, this is the house that you're referring to where Melissa Souza lives with Nicholas Lovejoy. It is where she put her two twin year, her twin year, her tw twin girls on Tuesday morning on that school bus. And it's also where police detectives and state police troopers have been throughout the day looking for any kind of clues, any hint to where she may be. Now again, evidence technicians as well coming in and out of this house throughout the day. They're just searching for clues, anything that can give them a lead. As you mentioned, Lovejoy was arrested by Waterford police around midnight after he was stopped. In his car, he was charged with having a loaded rifle in his car, also endangering the welfare of a child because police say he left his two girls at home. Earlier today, police were at a home on Taylor Road in Winslow, and this was a new development. The home is owned by friends of the couple. In fact, we learned from one of the neighbors that a trailer that was located in the backyard of this home is owned by Nicholas Lovejoy. So a game warden was there. Police were there. They had metal detectors and they were searching that area and then they left a few hours after that. We also had a chance to catch up with one of Melissa's very good friends and one of her co-workers. She's the one who actually called police because she was concerned about the welfare of Melissa Souza when she hadn't heard from her. And she talked to us and told us that she was definitely a, is afraid of Nicholas Lovejoy, that he had a lot of guns, that he has threatened her. And she tells us she's afraid she's not alive. And I don't, I feel like she would have contacted someone. If she knew all of this was going on, she would have said something. This is not uh, like her to disappear. And um, so uh, there was concern by uh, Waterville Police Chief Joe Massey uh, earlier in the evening uh, last night. So he asked that state police join the investigation. We are seeing some movement sort of in this breezeway right here closest to the road. There's been a lot of uh, movement. There's been a lot of flashlights. So police continue to look for something that will help them locate Melissa Souza. And again, state police, Waterville police asking anyone, the public for help. If you have seen Melissa Souza, if you know anything about her disappearance to please call police. We'll stay here and whatever new developments are, we'll make sure we bring them to you. Pat and Amanda. All right, Shannon Moss live in Waterville. Thanks, Shannon.